So the last supermoon of 2024 is here. It's today. This Taurus full moon is a supermoon, meaning it is going to be very close once again. It's going to be very large. I was already observing it last night. It was beautiful. And I just wanted to hop on quick and talk about how it's very important today to stay grounded, to stay level. Really make sure that you are not giving your power away to any fears, any doubts or any worry that is rising within you because it could be rising. The energies are sort of bringing that to the surface for our awareness right now. Uh, I did make a separate video on that on Wednesday. Uh, so the last full moon video that I posted, uh, if you want to check that out, um, I'm talking in that one about just all of our fears getting triggered, all of the comfort zones and different things that are coming up for us to be really aware of right now. And like just noticing how the comfort zone is just not comfortable anymore noticing all the things that you've outgrown so really today take some time to level yourself out take some time and like just really tune in really be aware and make sure that you're not giving in to any fears to any worry any doubt because uh, that stuff's probably going to creep to the surface and you don't want to let it like run away with you you don't want to let it consume your mind or you know, take you over the edge because we're in a super powerful manifestation portal still. We had the 11-11 portal this week. The energy of that continues to play out for the rest of this week. Ooh, and I just, as I said that, I felt something in the heart. So I think maybe several of you or quite a few of you in the collective are moving through some kind of challenges or moving through some kind of heart expansion it was a constriction that I just felt there for a moment so um, I think there is some type of heart expansion that is trying to happen for you at this time and this is why I'm saying to you it's so important not to be in fear because fear contracts the heart space fear contracts the mind and it contracts your heart and it contracts your entire energy field so if you're too much in the fear you're just going to be constantly like dimming your light it really really uh, puts you into a lower frequency and it really doesn't like you're going to manifest the fears that you don't want to manifest instead of overcoming them or instead of manifesting the things that you actually want in your life you're going to manifest the fears and the doubts and the worries so whatever you're worried about whatever you're doubting right now within yourself uh, especially if you're having a lot of insecurities come to the surface because that's also triggered under this full moon then look at those insecurities truly as lessons okay look at them as like something that you are just meant to become really aware of it's like why am i even insecure within myself like how come i don't see my own divinity how come i don't see my own light you know and like why do you choose to focus on the darkness within yourself instead of focusing on the light so because we're still uh in scorpio season and under this very sort of like emotional watery sign it's going to bring that stuff to the surface but when these things come to the surface they're not meant to come to the surface to to like make us more hard on ourselves they're they're coming to the surface just for awareness okay so always keep that in mind um, like I said, grounding, leveling yourself out, staying very centered is going to be very helpful today too. And even like this entire weekend under this full moon, uh, and just get super clear on what you want. This is a Taurus full moon guys. This is like a super moon. And that means that you have a super huge opportunity to manifest like huge things for yourself. And these are like physical tangible things because it's Taurus it's an earth sign Taurus is all about the material world so you have an opportunity under this full moon energy today especially when it when it's peaking at 1 30 p.m eastern time here uh and then tomorrow this entire weekend to align to the things that you want to like align to those desires those experiences that you want to manifest for yourself physical tangible experiences 3d experiences so whether that's like connecting to somebody you know whether that's more money whether that's like getting something that you've wanted for a while right like you have the opportunity to manifest it so use this energy to your advantage like don't waste it on 
giving your attention to like fear and darkness and there's like so much trash on social media and there's so many things that can distract you from these really powerful energies where you have a massive opportunity to timeline shift and like really jump into a higher space into a higher frequency a higher vibration and if you don't take advantage of them because you're like too distracted with social media and like watching other videos that are not helpful that are not supporting you in any way that are really just like entertainment especially like mind-numbing mindless entertainment then you're gonna miss out like <laughs> there's no other way to say it like that's just what's gonna happen because where you put your attention and your focus right now matters like where you are directing your focus and your energy and your heart space and where you allow yourself to go energetically is what you are going to manifest so don't look at dark content don't look at things that are not uplifting don't look at things that are depressing or sad like hell no i'm not giving attention to that like i don't want to feed that energetically right so just like a little mindfulness message here about that today it's like it's really time it's time for us to shift you have this like golden opportunity right now to shift into a really significantly better life but you got to choose that and the very first thing and the, the only way that you can choose that is by being really really clear on what you want get super clear on what you want what do you want to experience how do you want 2025 to go you know these are the things that we need to focus on right now and give attention to quieting the mind taking time off taking time off to rest like yesterday i uh, wasn't happening like i just knew i intuitively felt that i just needed to take a day for myself to like get caught up on you know things around the house like cleaning and getting things organized and things like that and that's what i did and i just like gave myself permission so like give yourself permission to thrive give yourself permission to do what feels best for you in any given moment. Give yourself permission to just go with your own flow, like nobody else is. There's no shoulda, coulda, woulda, right? None of that shit. It's just like, go with your own flow. Let yourself off the hook, like let yourself be free and to feel free, right? Because when we're doing things out of, and again, this is Taurus, the material, this is like action and how we show up in the world and what we do in the world. Like when you show up in this forced way where you're always like feeling that you have to push yourself or, well, I should do this or I better do this. That's such like limitation energy. That's such scarcity and lack energy. That's such a fear-based energy that you are trying to manifest from and, and believe me you're not going to have good results because because you're trying to manifest manifestation is so much about being in the flow state it is so much about just relaxing with like your own energy and like going with your own flow and really listening to your body this is taurus the material the physical right listen to your body listen to what your body is saying to you especially right now under this full moon and if it's saying like you know what i just don't feel like doing anything and i need to just chill and take an afternoon for myself or whatever then do that listen to that because that is actually what is going to help you manifest it's all about vibration guys this is all about alignment it is all about allowing yourself to be in a constant state of relaxed energy the only way that you can be in a relaxed energy is through listening to your intuition listening to the internal guidance and to your body and to your heart and what it's saying to you so for me yesterday was a break day i'm like i don't care if it's a thursday and i don't care if i typically do this or that on a thursday today i'm i I'm taking care of me. I'm loving on Kata and that's what I did. I did my workout in the morning. I did my meditations in the morning. I did my visualizations in the morning and then I got to work. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to take care of these pile of dishes and, you know, clean the house and just like, it was like this energetic refreshing of my space, right? Of like my home and just 
I was burning incense all day and I have had the diffuser I have it going right now too but like had the diffuser going you know burning stage like I was just like doing all the stuff that was really nurturing for me in in that moment and you know what oh and then I had fucking awesome tunes going all day long like I was just blasting tunes I was dancing while I was vacuuming I was like singing along to it and then I ended the day yesterday with like an epically awesome salt bath and it was just so beautiful it felt so good it felt so flowing and it was spirit was just like see this is what it's about like this is how we're meant to live life this joyful present moment living not worrying about nothing not anxious about anything not you know just not depressed about anything like god no like it was just such a beautiful flowing day and i can feel how and then even this morning i let myself sleep you know for as long as i wanted to sleep like i just allowed myself to rest i allowed myself to get in alignment with feeling really good so that's what i'm encouraging you to do today don't squander this energy absolutely take advantage of it go with your own flow trust your instincts there's so much like surprise energy also with this weekend's full moon like there's like shock and awe type of energy so there's like a lot of unexpected that can also come to you but that unexpected i find can really only come to you when you are in the flow state when you are relaxed when you are chill when you are just totally going with your own flow and letting yourself be in this absolute state of trust and trust has been this highlighted bolded capital underlined 400 times word in my mind all week long because spirit keeps telling me like oh my god like you're doing so good you're doing so good and like i'm i'm recognizing how when i just trust my own flow and how when i just trust that absolutely everything is working out for my best and highest good i don't fucking need to do that much i don't need to push i don't need to force anything i can just completely allow myself to to be free literally to be free of my own mind fuck like i just exited out of that and every single time you know the thoughts come or something silly comes in my mind that doesn't make me feel good now i absolutely don't give it any attention like i notice it i observe it which i talked about in the other video in, in wednesday's um full moon video like observe your thoughts but don't give it meaning don't give it power don't give it anything like literally thoughts are just clouds passing by clouds passing by all day long so just let them pass <laughs> let them come and let them go right the ones that are important and the ones that really have meaningful messages for you those are coupled with intuition so there's like a gut feeling that comes with it too like there's a a feeling that also moves through you with that thought and that's how you know that's like your intuition speaking not your mind so i just wanted to hop on and share this message because it's important for this weekend and i really want you to stay positive and uplifted again this is a taurus full moon you know this is a huge opportunity to manifest amazing things for yourself to really manifest an awesome ending to 2024 because this is the last super moon this is the last time that the moon is going to be this close to earth so the last time that physical manifestation especially like how beautiful like with taurus ending you know taurus uh or the super moon being in the sign of taurus the last one right it's such a beautiful kind of dot you know it's like the period at the end of the sentence like the spirit showing us like okay here's your opportunity to like manifest an epic ending to your 2024 what do you want to bring into reality what do you want to experience what tangible physical results do you want to experience get really clear on that focus on that feel into it feel how awesome it feels to have it already and just stay in this energy of absolutely being 
relaxed and relaxation comes from a very deep trust in the divine a deep trust in yourself knowing that you have the capability to manifest absolutely anything that you want because you're already manifesting 24 7 so it's like manifest something that you actually want to experience and move all the other shit out of your head out of your mind you know no more worries no more stress and you're gonna have some very unexpected surprises that are going to come your way and those surprises are going to be positive if you intend and set the intention to have positive surprises be open to miracles every single day especially today especially over this weekend be open to miracles so that's what i wanted to share with you guys i love you all so much take care of yourselves like subscribe share comment let me know what you're working on this weekend and i will see you in the next video take care